Well, if you live in the city, you've most likely walked by or under scaffolding that seems to have been up forever. I know when it goes away, you're like, I, you feel like you're I in the know. country. You're like, Some I, sort of freedom. So you can totally see the sky. Scun, sky, scun, mm -hmm. sky, sun, I should say. Antoine Lewis tells us about a plan to prevent scaffolding from becoming a long term eyesore. Scaffolding and so-called sidewalk sheds are commonplace in New York City. Some say too common. A city council subcommittee had a hearing today on a bill that would require scaffolding be taken down if no work is being done for seven or more consecutive days. Councilman Ben Kalos helped write the proposal. Scaffolding actually needs to go up to get work done, have the work get done, and then come down within six months or have the city do the work and make bad landlords pay. The Department of Buildings reports there are 7,800 active permits for construction-related sheds and scaffolding, city real estate advocates argue that the proposed time limit could negatively impact the work being done. Michael Wolf is with the Real Estate Board of New York. You have a time frame on removing sheds. It may lead to substandard work. It may lead to people doing illegal things like removing a shed before the unsafe condition is um, removed or reduced or eliminated um, because they're concerned about the expense or a fine or a penalty of having to shed up. Scaffolding is designed to protect pedestrians from work being done on a building's facade. One thing not being debated, the impact scaffolding can have on other aspects of public safety. You end up losing sunlight if you're on the first floor. On the second floor, it can attract uh, garbage, it can attract rodents, it can attract all sorts of smell. Up the sheds are a breeding ground for homeless occupation. Every pole represents a place a dog could urinate. It's public urination. It's dark. It's dirty. So after today's hearing, the next step in the process is a bigger meeting with more council members and then more dialogue on both sides as to how long the scaffolding can remain in place. Reporting from Lower Manhattan, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.